Hello, and welcome back to our series on vertex operator algebras. They are the mathematically precise form of what physicists might call a conformal field theory. Today, we're doing our first lecture in a series on the world-famous Virasoro algebra. Let's get started. Earlier in our series, we discussed the affine Lie algebras, which you can think of as tensor products of some Lie algebra G with the algebra of Laurent polynomials in some formal variable T, centrally extended, of course. For today's discussion, we'll be focusing in on those last two components, the Laurent polynomials and that central charge. We'll investigate the application of the Vita Sotal algebra to G next time. So let's focus in on the Laurent polynomials. Recall that they have a degree derivation, d, equal to t times d by dt. Let's generalize that out to some other derivations by defining the operator d of p of t, which is just p of t times d by dt, where p of t is some Laurent polynomial. Very meta. We can now ask, what is the commutator of two such operators? Well, surprise, surprise, the operator algebra closes, forming a kind of representation over the Laurent polynomials. Put differently, the derivations of Laurent polynomials form an algebra, the Witt algebra. Taking a basis for this algebra in terms of the monomials, we find a simple bracket relating dm and dn to dm plus n, where of course m and n are integers. Just a quick aside here, fix some positive integer. The span of the operators d sub n, d sub 0, and d sub minus n form a subalgebra that's isomorphic to SL2F, the 2 by 2 traceless matrices with elements taken from the field F. In particular, the subalgebra with n equals 1 will prove to be a distinguished example, especially to physicists. The Vira Soto algebra V is the central extension of W. We say the because it will turn out that V is unique, which is given by the central term proportional to that given here. Notice that m cubed minus m factors to the product of m minus 1 times m times m plus 1, which means that the central term associated with our distinguished subalgebra just mentioned vanishes identically. We will finish off today's discussion by proving that the Vita Soto algebra is the unique one dimensional extension of the Witt algebra. Proof. Let's have the matrix gamma parametrize the central extension of W. Our strategy will be to impose the constraints of the Lie bracket on gamma. Since the bracket is anti-symmetric, so too is the matrix gamma. Now let's consider the double bracket of operators dm, n, and l. Computing, we reduce things to a single bracket, which gives us the wit term and the central extension term, which of course is the term we're going to focus on. Employing the Jacobi identity, we find the relation. To make progress, let's consider the case where l vanishes and m plus n does not. Simplifying this relation with the anti-symmetry of gamma, we find a relationship between gamma n, n, and gamma m plus n, zero. Again, for m plus n non-vanishing. Note that we can shift the operators dm by an amount gamma zero m over m. This shift effectively removes the central term, again, for the case m plus n is non-vanishing. This means that those matrix elements represent a trivial extension of the algebra, and subsequently we set them to zero. So now we have two constraints on that matrix gamma. These constraints now require that m plus n plus l must all vanish. This effectively reduces the relation to a function of a single number, m. The most general solution here amounts to the following alpha m cubed plus beta m for alpha and beta in the field f. Note that we have factored out the central charge c, which we are at liberty to do by a suitable redefinition of alpha and beta. Notice, of course, that we can adjust beta by shifting the operator d0 as before. Potentially, we can shift beta completely to zero. So the choice of beta is essentially a choice of convention. Alpha itself is only defined up to its product with C. 
Thus, we can actually select a pair, alpha and beta, by convention, as any other choice will represent the same central extension of W. And we're done. And that's our show! Next time, we'll start developing a Vitasoto representation for H hat Z.